Well, good evening, boys and girls. Uh, we are purchasing this 1987 Buick Grand National. Uh, my partner, Dan, is working out a price for the gentleman right now, but uh, we are uh, we're going to take this home with us. This car is, if it's not pristine, it's pretty damn close. Um, this is nice. Real nice. Nicely and tastefully modded. Uh, the car hasn't got an ounce of rust on it anywhere. Uh, it's real nice. This is an 87. I think it's got about 140,000 kilometers, which is about 80,000 miles. Uh, we found this car just down the road from, uh, from my place uh, in Trenton, Ontario. I'm in Coburg. It's about 30 minute run east of where I am, down the 401. This car is gorgeous. Mine's not bad, but this one, uh, this one just blows mine out of the water, and that's a what a nice car. But it's uh, it's coming home with us. Everything, all the upgrades are already done. Uh, this is a that's my partner Dan that's buying it. Uh, this will now be a he'll be the fourth owner. This car's gorgeous. Nothing needs to be done to this car. Running a stock math on it, we might put a We'll probably put a 3-inch LT1 MAF and a translator on it, but um, that's going to be just about it. I was close to the hood here. Uh, figures. Jesus. And we were dead serious about buying today, so we've got my truck and trailer here, and we were going to load this bad boy up as soon as Dan gets all the paperwork done for it and the money exchanged hands, and uh, we're bringing it home. Uh, quick update on my car. Uh, the end, the short block will be ready next Saturday. I'll be going to Montreal to pick it up, and we'll be having uh, a whole whack of videos the next couple of weeks for you guys, putting in, uh, putting the long block back together and setting all the centers up for you guys and um, everything else. So anyway guys, um, we're going to load this bad boy up and uh, we're going to bring it home. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Have a wonderful evening.